when i think of the fast vanishing breed of classic gentlemen in hollywood one of the very first names which comes to my mind is that of harrison ford a lot of you will agree with me i am sure In his own words, Ford was a late bloomer, a shy teenager who took up acting as a teenager to overcome his social anxieties. Enchanted by the world of acting, Ford moved to LA at a young age. He backed a contract with Columbia Pictures. But fate intervened in the name of producer Jerry Tokowski, who took a stern dislike to the brash youngster who unnerved him. To put him down, he always addressed Ford just as a kid. He said, first time Tony Curtis was ever in a movie, he delivered a bag of groceries. A bag of groceries, kid. And you took one look at that guy, and you know that was a movie star. Ford shot back. Well, I thought that was supposed to be a delivery boy. The studio booted him. This famous confrontation with Tokowski tarnished his reputation, and nobody wanted to hire him anymore. To provide for his wife and two children, he took to carpentry. His 15-year-old marriage with his college sweetheart, Mary Marquardt, suffered. Even then, Ford continued his acting dream, searching for that role which will catapult him to stardom. In 1973, he landed a role in American Graffiti by George Lucas. Francis Ford Coppola gave him a few small roles, till success saluted him. Then Lucas started filming Star Wars. Even so, everyone suggested Harrison Ford's name. Lucas didn't want to repeat the actor. Casting director Fred Roos had a different plan. He hired Ford to build a door at the studio on the day of the audition. The rest is history. A star was born, one that shone on all of us for decades. After a few years, Spielberg gave us Indiana Jones and Ford's status as a rugged sex symbol of Hollywood was cemented forever. In real life also, Harrison Ford was a ladies man. The stories of his flings, philandering ways, and cheating are one too many. While married to his first wife, he had a steamy fling with his co-star Carrie Fisher. Fisher remembers, Harrison made me feel nervous. I got tongue-tied in his company and clumsy. I was with him when we worked together and tried to avoid him otherwise, so as not to annoy him. Fisher was completely infatuated with Ford and thought being with him was a favor bestowed upon her by gods. They kissed one night when she was drunk and he had to whisk her away from others. After that, they met secretly every weekend during the filming. Fisher fell head over heels in love with him, but he walked away once a shoot was over, leaving a heartbroken Fisher never able to recover. Harrison soon realized being a Hollywood heartthrob comes with its own perks, one of them being beautiful women throwing themselves at his feet. He became something of a ladies man. As countless stories of his infidelity circulated in the media, his marriage crumbled. His wife caught him sleeping with screenwriter Melissa Matheson. A divorce followed. After the divorce, Ford married the screenwriter who was responsible for the famous line from E.T. Phone Home. After 18 years of marriage and two children, the pair divorced eventually. In 2001, Harrison Ford's womanizing reputation reared its head once again. Matheson walked away from her cheating husband with somewhere between $85 million and $118 million, not to mention a share of Ford's royalties. But the unlucky in love actor was about to find the woman of his dreams. While still legally married to Matheson, Harrison Ford attended Golden Globes. Kalisa Flockhart, known for her show Ali McBeal, stole Harrison Ford's heart away, unlike any other. The following year, he openly gushed about her to the press. I'm in love. Romantic love is one of the most exciting and fulfilling kinds of love, and I think there is a potential for it at any stage of your life. The happy couple waited until 2009 to tie the knot and have been together ever since. A talented aviator, a professional carpenter, a great actor, chivalrous gentleman, a ladies man, his synonyms abound. Harrison Ford is one of the last specimens of a special breed of men like Clint Eastwood, Sean Connery, Marlon Brando, Clark Gable, Pierce Brosnan and the likes. A breed of men who can captivate an entire world just by their sheer presence.